Hey guys. Nice to have you back, hope you are doing well and having fun with New World. In today's video I want to show you some of the best elite enemies in Brimstone Sands that can also drop good legendaries. Many of these were very competitive in the early days, but this should have flattened out a bit by now. I will now show you some footage of the fight, and then show you in the usual style what weapons or armor the enemy drops. Unfortunately, I could not record the full fight footage for each enemy because these opponents were not always available, and sometimes have relatively long respawn times. What is still a relatively important information for me, is that you can upgrade the named items I show you here from the item level 590. Even if the items only have the rarity level epic, they become legendary from level 600 and usually get another perk. It happened to me at my first elite mob farms so that I often threw away the actually already long soldered weapon again and again, because I simply lacked this information, and I thought I have to directly loot the item to level 600. If you have any questions about the enemies then please post them in the comments, I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I would also be very happy if you leave me a subscription. Now let's start with the first opponent. Lord Sobuk. You can find the enemy in the area of the twins at a riverbed, on the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy, you can capture three legendary items which I will now show you. Luxendra the Wise. You will find the enemy in the area Valley of the Gods. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy you can capture two legendary items which I will now show you. Pika of the Crossroads. You will find the enemy in the area Valley of the Gods. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From this enemy you can get two legendary items which I will show you now. Harrow the Sickle. You will find the enemy in the area Valley of the Gods. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy you can capture two legendary items which I will now show you. Rafik of Bashara. You will find the enemy in the area Valley of the Gods. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy you can capture two legendary items which I will now show you. Afoys the Joyful. You will find the enemy in the area Valley of the Gods. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. 
If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy, you can capture two legendary items which I will now show you. Merciful Hapu. You can find the enemy in the area near Cradle of Nu. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy you can capture two legendary items which I will now show you. Anarjara of Duet. You will find the enemy in the area Cradle of Nu. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy you can capture three legendary items which I will now show you. Temple Guardian Sepes. You will find the enemy in the area Cradle of Nu. On the map you can see where exactly. This enemy is like all enemies in this list, simply tank and spank. If you play solo, you should make sure that you always have potions with you. From the enemy you can capture two legendary items which I will now show you. So quickly, we are already at the end of the video. I hope I could help you with the opponents a little further and bring you a pair of items closer that you need for the perfect setup.